Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, um, today is going to be a jewelry making video. I'm super excited to show you guys some fun, really easy things to do that can, you know, get you some extra cash by selling some jewelry to some friends, loved ones, you know, give them away as Christmas gifts. Christmas is coming up. Before you know it, we're going to be singing jingle bells. Um, but yeah, so today is going to be a video on that with keychains and all of that and necklaces and whatnot. Um, but before I get started to that, I wanted to show you guys my 2024 calendar has arrived. Um, I did tell you guys that I was going to get it and boy, it came fast. So they are here and they are available for purchase. If you are interested in a calendar, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Okay, it, uh, I'll show you, if you're on social media, you would have seen it already, but here is, let's say for example, June, okay? I'm not gonna show you all the months because that'll just spoil it. Um, but yes, if you are interested, calendars are, um, $35 this year. Um, if you are a previous calendar purchaser of mine and you bought calendars last year and the year before, you would know they were $50. Um, they are now this year, I found a better place to source them out and get them from. So they are now $35 Canadian. So if you are in the US, that actually ends up being cheaper for you because of the exchange rate. So it's going to be a little less than $35, but it is $35 Canadian currency for a calendar and shipping depending on where you live i do ship worldwide if you are in the us shipping is approximately 17 dollars to ship so you're looking at it about a total of 52 dollars canadian if you'd like a if you'd like a calendar to the us uh canadian shipping i'm not sure but anywho calendars are available whoop there that's all you got <laughs> If you're interested in a calendar, email me. Um, it is Tuesday. You guys are watching this on Tuesday. On Monday next week, I am off to Dallas, Texas. It is coming up so fast. I'm going to be doing a workshop there with Massey Art Studio with Lee and Jeremy. Um, I cannot wait to see and meet the people that have already signed up. You still have time. There are some spots left. If you are interested in coming to Dallas, Texas and want information for the event, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I don't know. I'll think of it as I go along, but I have a special, a special guest. Let me see if I can do this without making you guys dizzy. Um, here, hold on. Let, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, so as I was saying, I'm in the studio, and yes, I caved. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> Hi, Juno. He wanted to come down, and I just feel bad because I do spend a lot of time in the studio, and they get to, they have to stay upstairs. But I said, you know what? Nah, let him come down. He can come down and hang out with me. So, Mr. Juno. Hi, the handsome boy. Yes, so he is hanging out with me, but I had Echo down here, but he didn't care so much to be around, so he went back upstairs. But Mr. Juno over here loves spending time with Mommy. He follows me everywhere. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. Um, so actually, while I'm here, I will show you guys. These are my paint skins. So every time a painting dries and the paint around the canvas is dry i peel it off and then i save it as a paint skin so this is layers actually this is layers and layers and layers of paint skins so many paint skins and there's some other ideas and things i want to do with these paint skins but i just don't have the time sometimes but what I do is I just separate it with a piece of either parchment paper or wax paper so that they don't stick um, because they will, see, they will stick together. Oh, 
So yeah, try not to um, overlap them. I have so many paint skins, it doesn't really matter to me if I ruin some of them. Um, I have like tons of them. So yeah, try not to place them on top of each other because, you know, they will stick to each other. And then separate each one, each layer with, um, you know, look at that, that's cool. So yeah, just separate them. So those are my paint skins. I've got a ton of them and I'm going to show you guys. Oh, tripped over my own light fixture here. I'm gonna kill myself. All right, so let me just put you guys back up on the tripod and let's get started. Okay, I'm back. Camera's up back up on the tripod. Um, okay, so I'll show you guys some previous pieces I had done. So I've got this round pendant with black and silver and then again it's on a chain and I have it hooked up to this little um this is just like a little felt pad that I put it in when I sell it so you know you just throw it in there and then I actually just hook it onto the thing so I don't lose it but yeah so there you go I put the number on there just for reference for myself um you don't I you won't get it with a sticker but anyways so yeah cute little pouches all this stuff Amazon okay it's all from Amazon I will create a special um, Amazon album uh, and then all this stuff will be in there it would be under like jewelry making but uh, here's another one for example that I did let me see if I can get the colors for you to see there you go so turquoisey so this is a round pendant and then you can get a long pendant which is super pretty okay and here's like another one they're so easy to make so so easy to make just a little time consuming that's all or you can get yourself some keychains so you get the little turtles or you can get other shapes like i mean there's owls there's so many things you can find on amazon and just pick what you like right um so i've got you get them in silver as well so they come like this and then you get the, these are called cabochons, cabochons. Anyways, so yeah, and they fit in there like that. Just make sure that when you do order and get them, make sure your cabochons aren't cracked or chipped. I've had, you know, sometimes where I've ordered and they were cracked. So you just contact Amazon or you return it and just buy a new one. But um, I, that's only happened to me once where the cabochons were cracked. Um, and then I have this bigger one. This one I've never done before. This is much bigger. So if anyone, you know, you want to do like a big pendant, you can do that. And then um, for the turtles, I bought these off Amazon. Great for clipping onto your keys, your keychain, your purse, your wallet, whatever. Or you can just go the traditional route and get yourself just round keychains, right? You can get, you know, you can buy them in, in a ridiculously amount. Uh, bulk pack here, but um, I quite prefer this. This is much better, easier. I like the clip. It's great. Um, necklaces, again, you can buy them in bulk off Amazon. These are um, silver, sterling silver plated. Um, so you can get them or you can get this kind of chain, which I've gotten two different kinds. Um, both are really nice. Okay, and then you can choose like the length that you want. Some people want a really long necklace, a short necklace. So there's all kinds of things you can find on Amazon. And I will put everything that I can possibly remember on my Amazon link my, to my Amazon shop. And then you can head on over. I will try to remember to even post the link in the comments below in this video. And then that way you can just simply click on it for Canada or US. I'm sorry if you're outside of those countries. Um, I, I think I have a UK Amazon, but I'll try my best to do that as well. So I will let you know about that, okay? But just look for the links. Uh, I can put this away now. There we go. And so, yes, you can also buy what is called a, um, like a stamper or like a hole puncher. This one is great if you're doing um, these round ones, these little round guys. I think they're 25 millimeters. 
um, and it's the exact perfect size for punching a hole and doing here I'll do one for example let's do this just for so you just basically you find what part you want to use let's say I want to use this part right here that part looks great to me you just slide it in here you kind of maneuver it to what design you want. Oh, I kind of like that, I kind of like this. Uh, nope, this is my favorite here. Okay, great, I'm gonna punch it, and there you go. You've got yourself a perfect circle. So, and this comes in different sizes too. I got this off Amazon. It wasn't cheap, but it's definitely come in super, super duper handy um, for this round, okay? You can just do that, super simple. And then I don't have any round ones left, so I can't really show you an example. But yeah, you can do that. Now, if you don't wanna buy this, that's fine. You don't have to buy it. Like for example, for these, I don't have a hole punch that's gonna give me this exact oval circle. Oval, oval circle, is that even a thing? This oval shape, okay, or this. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pen or like a marker, an inky pen, pair of scissors okay and that's what you need and you're basically just going to get yourself a skin I actually really like these colors these colors are super cool look at that always keep your paint skins you never know what you're going to use them for right so basically what you want to do is take your cabochon okay and you can put it actually I'm going to do a turtle one because this is like turtle colors ocean turtle colors I like this so just take your cabochon and just kind of drag it along on top and see, oh, where does it look really good? What part of this, you know, paint strip here do I like? And then just pick one. And I'm like, okay, I kind of like, I kind of like this right there. Okay, so then you're just going to, you could do this two ways, actually. You can take, this is what you need, diamond glaze, okay? Again, off of Amazon. Um, I'm sure you can maybe buy it in store somewhere. I don't know. I just buy everything off Amazon because it's so convenient. So I have this smaller container because I really like the thin tip it's got. So this is what I had originally bought years ago. And then it, when it emptied, I bought a bigger bottle and I just pour this into here when this gets empty. And she's clogged so I need to use a safety pin to unclog the tip but anyways what you need is some diamond glaze I think there's something called e6000 that's another sp super crazy glue that you can use or you can use you can use star bond which I've used many times as well um, and there's a discount for this in my um, description below if you want to use star bond this stuff's really great too any of this stuff will work like i mean i i just really love this this is the stuff so what you can do is you can either um cut it out and then here let me let me do both ways for you okay there's no right or wrong way people have a preference okay so i'm going to that's the spot i like i'm going to hold it down i'm going to take my pen here and I'm going to trace the outside of the cabochon okay I don't even think you can see that but maybe you can okay so you can do that and then cut it out yes this is ridiculously time consuming like really time consuming but again super easy to do very very easy to do just time consuming that is all okay that's it so you cut it out. It's hot in here. I'm gonna turn off my, my oil heater. Okay, so now I've got my oval shape, okay? So you can do this and then you're gonna put a little bit of the diamond glaze in here. Put this guy in here like this and stick them down in there and then he'll be stuck under there. And all you need is like a drip, that's it. If you put too much, then it's gonna seep out through the sides and trust me, you don't want that. And then you're gonna put a few drips on here and then put the cabochon, 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 whatever on top. And then what I like to do is I like to push it down 
I'll show you this in a minute. Um, push it down and then anything that seeps out through the sides, hopefully you don't get a lot of seepage. Is that even a word? Just take a paper towel and just kind of clean the edges off and then that's it. That's, that's how I've done some of them. Or you can, this guy's like stuck in here now. There we go. Okay. Or you can find a spot that you like. Okay. And let's say, let's, I don't want to use a big one. We'll use the small one again. Uh, okay. Let's find a spot and you're going to, I need to, I have my safety pin here. This is specifically for unclogging my, there we go. Perfect. Okay. That's it. Simple little safety pin unclogs the tip. Okay. So what you can do is find a spot you like. Uh, okay. I like, let's say this is going to be a good spot. Let me find a good spot because this is going to stay stuck once I do it. So, okay, let's say I want, I can't find a good spot. I want a good spot. And this is why it's so good if you have like a ton of paint skins, you have so many different possibilities. Okay, I'm going to do that. So what you can do this way is just add, she's clogged. Hold on. It's coming out. There we go. So I don't even know where I had that. Where did I put that? Where did I want that? Here. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, I'm gonna do it here. That's not where I had it, but anyways. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of diamond glaze to the spot that I want. I'm going to put the cabochon on top and I'm going to push it down just so that it spreads out all the glue, okay? And any air bubbles that might be trapped under it, okay? And I'm gonna put it right where I want it. Actually, I really like that right there. Okay, and then you're gonna need to give it some time to dry. So I guess that's the one downfall with this is you have to let it dry before. Actually, it doesn't take very long to dry. Is She's pretty good. And then if you have like smaller scissors that are sharper and more precise, you know, you're better off using a pair of scissors like that. So you can do this. This is maybe the easier way. I've never actually done it this way, but I have seen other people do it this way. And then you want to cut around the cabochon. The only thing is you're gonna get, your scissors are gonna get a lot of glue on them. So you're gonna have to continuously clean them. I've got my rubbing alcohol here. Okay, cause then they're just gonna get really sticky and gooey and you don't want to ruin your scissors. Especially if they're a good pair of skizzers. I like to call them skizzers, okay? And there. So that's actually really easy to do as well. In fact, it's probably easier than method A. Um, and then all you gotta do is put them in here. So you know what? Now that I've done this method, I've done method A and method B, and method B is a hell of a lot easier, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, and then don't put your cabochon on the paper towel that you had all the other glue on or your, okay. And then what you wanna do is just take a little bit. Um, like so, okay. You see that? Just a little bit and slap this sucker in there and hold it down. Give it a good hold, squeeze it, squeeze it. and it shall dry. And there you have it, Bob's your uncle. It's so pretty, look at that, super cute. Let me see if I can get, there it is. See, super good. 
and that's it. You're finished. Like, I mean, you can pull up a stool, which you can't see. Have a seat, which I'm doing right now, sitting down, you know, at your table, whatever. Now I shall stand up because I, I can't do that sitting. But anywho, and you could even make this. I don't know, will this fit? It might. Maybe you can even turn that into a necklace. It doesn't have to be a keychain. Let's see. Let's see. I never thought about turning it into a necklace. You know how much I love my sea turtles. It does fit. It does fit through the hole. Look at that. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, super cute. There you go. So now you've got a turtle necklace. That's actually super cute. You know, some people may not want something that big hanging from their, their neck into their chest. I don't know, but some people do. So you can definitely turn it into a necklace or you can turn it into a keychain, right? So that is really the easier way to do it. So yeah, do it. Yeah, you, I mean, you can cut it out. So let's do, let's do another one, shall we? Let's do one of these big guys. Let me find a nice, ooh, let's find, let's see here. Hold on, I shall bring this here for you guys to kind of see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, you just kind of pick it up. You don't see anything on here you like and just put it to the side. Ooh, lots of nice colors on here. I think there's like 10 layers under this to be quite honest with you. But, uh, oh, this one was a big one. This one was a mess. Look at that. This is a big paint skin. Ooh, actually, oh, yes. That's what I'm gonna do. Hold on, put this aside. Bring this guy over here. Always keep your paint skins, my friends. You never know what good will come of it. Oh, wow. Right, and you can just take the cabochon and just kind of put it across. Oh, wow, I think I found the spot. Because it also kind of magnifies it when you put it down and you're like, wow, this looks really good here. So I'm really liking this piece right here, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. Like so. I don't know if you guys can even see that. But I don't know. It's hard for you guys to see. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. It's like, where do you, it's hard to choose. It's hard to pick. Actually, okay, hold on. I'll do this one later. I'm just going to do this smaller one because it's just so much easier. And, and it's turquoisey blue. And you guys all know I love my turquoise blue. So. Um, and being so indecisive, I apologize. What else we got here? Bunch of blues. Ooh, this is, ooh, this is metallic. This must be, oh, this must be from a bloom I did. Hold one second. Wow, let's see if you can get that. Uh, let me get the right light. Wait, there it is. Look at that. Oh, I'm liking that. Do I have enough for it to cover the whole cabochon though? Oh, I don't know. There just might be enough. Look at that. That's really cool. All right, so it's just enough. All right, I'm gonna do this one. Stop changing your mind, Canola. 
All right, so I'm going to add, there we go. So put your diamond glaze. smidge more at least if this seeps out the sides it's not the end of the world you want to make sure you have enough okay and push down to get rid of any air pockets or bubbles make sure that that glue is spreading out under the glass cabochon. All right. Oh, wow. This one's going to be nice. Ooh la la. Look at that. That's very cool. Okay. And then you can maybe, yep, you can take a paper towel and rub it along the sides to get rid of any seepage before you start cutting so you can do that too and then just cut along the cabochon oh this one's a thick skin because this was um bloom paint but don't do what i'm doing let it dry <laughs> for like, I don't know, maybe five minutes. Like do a bunch at once and just let them sit. I'm just doing this super quick for video purposes. All right, um, it's not dry just yet. Like, I mean, it's definitely not dry just yet. Okay. And another thing, if you're picking up the cabochon, you're touching it, whatever, I now have fingerprints on the bottom. You might want to have a cloth nearby and clean the bottom. You don't want fingerprints on it before you slap it on a paint skin and then there's a fingerprint on it. So just clean the bottom of it. The top doesn't matter because you can clean that after, but clean the bottom. Make sure there's nothing on it. This is from the dollar store. It's like a Mr. Clean microfiber cloth and then slap it on your paint skin. Okay, so that's done. She shall fit perfectly in there, okay? Let's add some diamond glaze. Reminds me of an old song in back in the days, in my clubbing days, which I never went clubbing. I never went clubbing. Yes, shocking, I never went clubbing. But it was like, you're my diamond girl. And I don't know, I'm sorry for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about. You can just laugh. But some of you might know. Do you know Diamond Girl? You're my Diamond Girl. Yeah, I'm crazy. I know. So anywho, uh, 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 I'm a nutball. So put that diamond glaze in there. Center it where you want. Push her down. Get that glue really stuck in there. Oh my God, this is pretty. Oh my gosh, sorry. I have a tendency. Oh my gosh, <gasps> look at it, it's perfect. How cool is that? I'm trying to get the right light, there we go. Kind of, ooh la la. How cute is that? All right, you get your necklace, thread her through, drop it. Let's try that again, shall we? There you go. How cool is that? So, guys and gals, so easy to do, okay? Super duper easy, super inexpensive. Um, you know, you can get, depending on what you buy, you know, the chains, the turtles. Uh, like I said, there's owls. There's all kinds. You can literally go down the rabbit hole on Amazon and find all kinds of fun stuff. But I will put all of this stuff in my Amazon shop, okay? And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and tell me what you guys think about these. So like I said, there's 
there's so many different styles and you can buy there's bracelets too you can actually buy bangle 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 bracelets okay you can do bracelets you can do all kinds of things right and then you have to buy um sometimes they they come with the cabochon like the turtles come with the cabochon and then these came with the cabochon sometimes they come separate so you'd have to buy the cabochon separately but you get more bang for your buck your buck your buck when you buy them with the cabochon okay these came with it the, these came with it and they're really cool and you can get them in different colors like they don't have to be silver you can get these round ones in black i have them in my amazon cart right now actually and i've been thinking of buying some black ones you can do black necklaces uh copper gold silver um there's all kinds right like i've got the copper copper turtles right see there's there's all kinds all kinds so this is a great little way to make some little money on the side or even as gifts for your loved ones for Christmas coming up, or just because, um, super duper simple. Like, I mean, Lucas could do it. My kids could do this. Like, really, they could. It's just time consuming. That is all, okay? It's just a time consuming thing. But hey, if, you know, you got nothing to do or you're retired and you're sitting at home and, you know, whatever, sit down at your table, turn the TV on, you know, and just sit there and yeah, start saving your paint skins because there's so much you can do with these things. Just peel them off the table when your painting is dry. And if you don't have paint skins, let's say you don't do paintings or something, um, just get yourself a silicone mat from Loli Vefi or something. Um, you know, you can get yourself a silicone mat, throw some paint on it, blow it around on the actual silicone mat. You don't have to do it on a canvas. Do it on a mat. So literally get your Loli Vefi silicone mat, throw a bunch of paint down on it, and, you know, I don't know, finger paint, take your hair dryer, blow it around, and just let it sit and dry on the silicone mat. And then you peel that sucker off, and there you go. You've got yourself a paint skin. So you don't have to do a painting on a canvas and wait for the stuff to drip on the side and peel it up off the table from whatever little drippings you may have. You can literally get yourself a silicone mat, lolivefi.com, again, information is in the description below. Get yourself a silicone mat, and then don't forget, you can also save 10% off using code CANILLA10, okay? But get yourself a mat, throw some paint on it, blow it around, do a swipe on it, do whatever you want on it, and then just let it dry, peel it off, Bob's your uncle. There you go. You got yourself a paint skin without actually having to do a painting. So keep that in mind. You can do that too. So there you have it. I really hope this was fun and interesting for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If, Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I will put links to my Amazon shops in the comments below, if I remember. But if I don't remember, it will be in the description below the video for sure, 100%. So you can find the Amazon links there. Okay, don't forget calendars. Okay, there is a limited quantity. I don't know if I mentioned that. There's a limited quantity on the calendars. So if you want a calendar, you got to email me. And for those of you who are coming to Dallas, Texas to see me and learn at the workshop with Massey Art uh, Studios, um, I will be bringing calendars there as well. So if you want to buy a calendar while you're in Texas and save yourself some shipping, there you go. You can buy one in Texas. All right, that is it. It's going to be a ridiculously busy week for me as I'm packing and getting ready to leave for Texas. I will do my very best on Saturday to have a video for you guys. It's going to be a special one. I'm saying that now and I hope to goodness gracious I can get it done by Saturday, but it is going to be a Loli Vefi kit. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. It is a new kit, new products. It is gonna be a fun one. Stay tuned to Saturday's video for that special kit. All right, until then, that is it for now. 
Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.